Hey everybody, we're back and uh, we're going to try to finish up this old cowboy today. Uh, this is the finished product here. And uh, we don't like a whole lot on this one, but uh, with uh, I was going to go ahead and start working on this face. I got lines drawn in there, so uh, I'm going to take a quarter inch uh, number nine gouge and I'm going to open me up some eye sockets I didn't hear and uh, this eye is going to be open and the other one is going to be squinted there's one eye socket and but I still have to put an eye socket over here where the squinted eye is going to be. And I kind of keep them straight in here. And in these inside corners, I like to dig in a little bit to uh, make them a little bit deeper next to the nose. Let me get over here a little bit. Okay. Now before I get going, I'm going to take my knife and kind of shave down this area right in here where that little sharp edge is. Like that right there. How's that look, Peyton? Can you see that? Okay. Now, I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw me a reference dot right here on the inside corner and one right here. And then I'm going to come out to the outside corner and put me a little reference dot and draw a line, connect the dots like that. Now above that I'm going to put a little arch I'm making a little half moon I'll get it drawn on there and show you I like to get these drawn on so I can kind of get them straight or somewhat the same that looks pretty good right there, but before I go any further, I'm gonna, I've got a line drawn on the, on the wing of this nose. I like to put this in also. So I'll take my number nine gouge and cut my little line where I drew my line in to develop the wing of that nose. All right, I'm going to do it on this side. And just right on the top of that line, you want to develop that wing of the nose. Now, I want to get in here and I'm going to do uh, the actual eyeball. I'm going to go in this inside corner with my knife and make me a little triangular cut which creates a shadow and then I do it on this side just to kind of keep them symmetrical now I'm going to do the outside corner and chop that out like that And what this is doing, it's rounding the eyeball. Like this and toward the nose. Okay, I got my shadow lines in. Now I'm going to make my stop cuts where I drew my lines. And that's going to develop my eyeball. 
and I'm going to go ahead and cut that in while I'm in there. And I just use the very tip end of my knife blade. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I get you, Pate? Yep. Huh? Yep. Mm. All right, there's one. Come across there like that. And then do the arch. And I'll, I'll cut right in here first. And recess that eyeball. Like that right there. Now, I'd like to draw in my pupils. And, oh, I did the, I was going to do the squinted eye. <laughs> Well, we got two eyes on this. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, and we'll just put two eyes in there. See, I was talking and I forgot I was going to put a squinted eye on that. But I'm going to go ahead and just do. I can't go back now. All right, there's a little eye. Now... Uh, while I'm in here, I'm going to kind of redraw, enhance my drawing here. Okay. Um, I'm going to raise that up just a little bit. This nostril area. Oh, Okay, now uh, I'm going to put my nostril in. I'm going to take a quarter inch, number nine, and come in here and make me a little cut like that on that side. One right there. Sometimes you got to get in there and cut that little thing out in there. And this one's not too bad here. Now, what I want to do is come in here and put me some eyelids on this old cowboy. And right in here, I'm making this little paint plane right in here a little bit wider to where I'm going to put my eyelid. I start right here, come across to the center where my nose is and I come back this way a little bit. I've got the brim of the hat there so I kind of got to jockey it back and forth a little. And that's the soft eyelid right there. Can you you got that painting in there? Can you mm -hmm. see it all right? All right, now I'm going to do this eyelid. Come across there. And then right across there a little bit. And right in here. Okay. Now, let's see here. I need to come across here, make me a cut there. One right here. And then come across here and do the this little area right here is where you're going to tuck the the bag up under the the lid itself. Mm. 
All right, now I'm going to take the quarter inch V. Uh, let's see, I'm going to use that uh, little upsweep V I got. Uh, where did it go? Right here. Because I can reach in here with this and and it has an arch in it, so I'm not in the way of that brim of that hat. All right, I'm gonna do this side. Okay, there's my eyelids. Now I've got to put the bag under the eye. So I'm going to come in right here and I'm going to droop this bag down like that. Do the same over here. Now I like to go in with a number 11 three millimeter gouge and develop my bag under my eye there. Bring it up to your eyelid. And stay on your lines. Like that right there. Now I'm going to go over here and do this, but I'm going to re-enhance that too. with a V tool. I can reach under there with a straight V for this. That like that. Mm -hmm. Tuck it in like that. And I'm gonna do the same on this side. Okay, there's the bags under the eyes. Now I'm going to go ahead and make this mouth barrel. Or where my teeth are going to go. And what I'm doing, I'm just building a little mound in there for where the teeth are going to be. There's a cut I make. Now let's go in and, and deepen that with a stop cut. And I'm going to cut back against my stop cuts. Just to kind of round that over a little bit. Because it's got to look like the teeth are going up underneath the top of the lip there. got to get it somewhat rounded like that right there. Now, I'm going to kind of come across here now and kind of shave this down just a little so it's not quite as puffy in there. Because now I'm going to, if you notice on this, he's got about 
three teeth showing right there. Well, that's what I'm fixing to put in are these three teeth. I'm going to come in right across here. And I'm going to take out this area right in here first. Going to make me a, a, a deep shadow area. Come in and kind of score across that with your knife blade. And then down this way and up. And make them teeth start to stick out. And while we're at it, I'm going to bring this chin down just a little bit more. Alright, now we're going to draw in where the teeth are going to be. I'm going to have one about right there. And a big old molar right there. It may not look just exactly like that, but it's close. And now I like to come in and make me a stop cut there. One right in here. And then I'll kind of start wedging that out right in here, taking that pencil line out. There's one tooth. Now I'm going to get this tooth in. And I'm going to start kind of tapering these teeth up toward the gums area. more coming out right in there that's my teeth right there now I'm going to put in a this little place right in here it just kind of ends the mouth I, I just do a little stop cut there and then make take me a little wedge out and kind of tuck that in there like that just to give it an ending. Now we got to put old bottom lip in so before I do that I'm going to work my knife blade in here and I'm going to start scooping at that like that. and forming my lip and up toward that little cut I made there. And kind of bring it in right in there also. Now, on these teeth right here, I've got to, I gotta round them a little bit right in here at the ends. I'm going to take my knife blade and put me a cut there. One right there. And take me out a little wedge cut right in there. And it gives me a little bit of shadow in there. I'll do it right in here also. Let's move that up a little bit. Now, what I want to do is come in here and form me a little, a, a little chin area. 
I'm going to take a, a number nine gouge and work below that and come in and kind of turn it like that and make me a little chin area right in there. On that side. And now I'm going to do it on this side here. Work that on around a little bit. And I de developed a little chin area in there. And you can go in and kind of clean it up with a knife tip. And right in here, I need to give him a little bit more neck right in there. And Take that out right in there. Okay, that is the mouth and face. Now I do. I gotta do some uh, ear and some hair here. So I'm gonna take this number nine, uh, 10 millimeter, and I'm gonna come in, and I'm gonna make me a little indention like that right there. I'm, work, I'm going to form this inner ear. Now I'm going to come in with some uh, little triangular cuts to form the inner ear. And it's just like a little triangle shape. And you're just putting some shadow in there like that. Now I'm going to take, and right in here, I'm going to make a, another little wedge cut this way. And right in here, just take me a little wedge out right in there. And just to kind of round that a little bit. And I'm going to do it over here. What I'm doing in here is just getting a little depth in that ear. Okay, now uh, I've got some hair in here. I want to show you the hair. How much, what we're doing on time, Peyton? I got about three minutes. Okay, well, we're going to kind of go over here on this. Uh, and that, that three minutes will about be 25 or? Yep. Okay, well, we're just about done. And. Uh, I come in here with the what well, is number eleven and form my my hairline. Kind of tuck it in up under the hat, like that right there. Now, as I did the hair here, I come in and start working like this to develop the hair and that's the hair on that now I want to put some little scoops in my in my neckerchief, I like coming down here and putting me a scoop right in here, like that. Bring it up this way a little bit. Then I like to come in right here and work one on up way like this. And then I'll put one about right here and bring it on around and I can put even put one right in here right there next to that neck area 
But now, uh, I do have some texturing in here. I started texturing this shirt and I did it with a number 11, three millimeter. And I just come in and start working that in and uh, just put little divots in there. And this is uh, like the old long handle underwear, wool underwear they used to wear way back in the day. Okay, guys, after I did this, we're, we're just about, we're done on this guy. I mean, you can go in and put this little place here on the crotch, put in your pockets, and then uh, you can come in here and put these little notches in. But other than that, we've got everything done on this guy that, uh, that you need to really see. Uh, and also, guys, uh, uh, I'm going to be gone to the, uh, in, uh, here pretty soon. Uh, next Wednesday, I'm leaving for Pennsylvania, the Conowago Woodcarvers. I'll be up there for uh, uh, for a three-day seminar. And I think I'm going to tape some of that up there, and I'm going to show it as a YouTube. And, but anyway, guys, with that, uh, we're finished with this cowboy. And uh, when I get him painted uh, on the next uh, video or on the next carbon video, uh, I'll show you what he looks like painted. But, I mean, that's the color scheme I'm going to go by. But you'll get to see this one. So, guys, with that, uh, happy carving to everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye.